assalamu alaikum everyone today we are going to start a new course in our youtube channel learn online and the course name would be microcontroller programming and especially we are going to deal with pk18f microcontroller uh, we will try to focus one of the uh, generic and very common microcontroller uh, in PIC-18 family but uh, the programming rules and the generic principle what we are going to learn in this course will be equally applicable for a uh, number of PIC-18F family members so this is our lecture number one and today we are not going to talk about any generic uh, programming language rather we are going to discuss microcontroller theory and how these are important in our daily life when one is going to deal with microprocessor theory or microcontroller theory or computer system theory then the very first thing that he or she has to learn is digital systems so let's see what is a digital system digital systems are designed to store process or communicate but what digital information so whenever you see a system which is dealing with digital information either it is storing it or processing it or it is responsible for communication of digital information then you must assure yourself that you are dealing with a digital system let's see what are different applications which are found in our surroundings and we don't know these are applications of digital systems so digital system application includes process control you see any kind of processing mechanism uh, which is controlled by computer systems or which is controlled by digital systems are applications of are very important applications of digital systems for example bottle fl bottle fling plants which are very commonly known and which are very commonly known in, in our society and are very common example of digital system communication system whenever you are going to communicate with another party uh, either that party is uh, in your city in your country or somewhere uh, somewhere other country in the world uh, and you are communicating with them so basically you are dealing with an application of communication system digital instruments uh, you see there are uh, very highly accurate instruments available which are uh, giving readings in digital forms for example flat pressure measurement instrumentation for example uh, blood measurementation instrumentation for example very commonly known as weight measurement and those are applications of what digital systems consumer products a product which is consumed by digital uh, consumed by normal people but they don't know they are coming from the application from the digital system for example uh, refrigerators found in our uh, homes my uh, televisions digital televisions which are basically uh, tv on demands they are what they are digital systems uh, your uh, gaming laptop your gaming uh, computer system all or those but consuming you are consuming themselves and basically they are applications of digital systems okay that's it from this lecture today we learned about digital system if you have got any uh, questions or you can post them in comment section thank you so much for listening